a former player for my second home country besides the United States, England, where my late mother was from, Warren Barton, a Fox Sports Soccer analyst, on the call for the World Cup tomorrow, Brazil, Costa Rica. Your national team did not get to the World Cup, so you did not play in a World Cup. No, unfortunately, I never. Uh, it's painful. It is painful. And unfortunately, it was here as well in, in 94. Uh, I was involved with uh, France in 98, but never made the actual roster. But it's, uh, it's nice to be involved in this World Cup because it's been exciting. It's been fantastic. By the way, I'm a radio guy here. We talk about big stars. Over in Europe and Argentina, they have talk radio too. And Messi and Ronaldo are there, Michael Jordan, LeBron. I've always been a Ronaldo guy. Over a messy guy, because my belief, Warren, is if I have to choose, I'll choose the bigger athlete. They're more durable. They often last longer. As long as we're even on everything, Ronaldo has been absolutely unbelievable in this World Cup. Do you think, in the argument all time, Ronaldo has separated himself a little in the last four days? Definitely. No doubt about that. You know, the hat trick against Spain, the confidence that he showed. Um, I don't think, you know, bringing basketball into it, there's any better athlete in the biggest moment, in the clutch moment, and I've put LeBron James into that, Tom Brady, when the pressure is on, he thrives at it. He wants that attention and there's no better athlete in the world doing that, in my opinion. He steps up to the plate. It's a good organized team. It's a well-drilled team and they've got a superstar, arguably the best player of his generation. He's like a fine wine. He's getting better with age. Now, Messi's interesting. His mother says, you know, he's cried uh, this, this national team thing. It's getting at him. Could I make the argument, let me make this a little bit of a domestic, domestic argument, that Ronaldo is MJ. He's better <laughs> in the clutch. And Messi's got a little LeBron where he's good, but he's not quite as good in the clutch. I don't know. I'm a big LeBron fan. And I see uh, Michael Jordan play as well. I think maybe with Messi, what he is, is a team player. You know, with Barcelona, he, although he's that superstar in the team, he thinks about the team first and foremost, where Ronaldo and maybe even Jordan was about him and what he can do for the team and progress that forward. But Messi, after this penalty miss that he had, he stood in the centre circle for about 40, 45 seconds and looked to beat a man. Um, and with the pressure of Diego Maradona, who won this competition in 86 for Argentina, that seems to be suffocating him. And he is a team player. He wants the best for his nation. But it just seemed after then that the pressure is suffocating him and he's not enjoying the game. Where on you look at Ronaldo oh, in the other game, he's joyful. smiling, taking his shirt off. A bit like you coming to work. Yes, I just strip. <laughs> um, what does Messi do better than Ronaldo? Is there something that you look Warren, as a soccer analyst and a former player and think, oh boy, nobody, he's better than Ronaldo at what? He's better at dribbling and a better assist. I think when Messi gets the ball, he's always got half an eye looking for his teammates. When Ronaldo gets it, nine times out of ten, he's going on his own and looking to vert the goal. Going back to what we said with the personalities, Ronaldo, it's about me, give me the ball, I'll make it happen. Messi, I'm going to go, but if I see a better option, I'm going to find a pass. I always, watching soccer, were, I was attracted to Brazil. Brazil. Are we the same age? We must be roughly, because that's... Brazil always you was... You answer that question. They're just <laughs> magical. Yeah. Like, I, I, the only thing I can... I, I'm trying to think in American sports what I can compare Brazil to. <sighs> I don't know. It's almost like hockey is Canada sport, mm -hmm. and soccer feels like Brazil sport. And I know it's not. I don't know where soccer originated from. And I watch... Brazil the other day and I'm like oh lord they're so gifted why aren't they more dominant I think because the rest of the world has got better than the game started back in England many many centuries ago and you should know that being an Englishman I should, should know that. Yeah, I've told you something I know new, my so. King Henry the eighth history and I don't know that <laughs> you think maybe um Everybody's catching up. Yeah, people are catching up. And also with Brazil, with the expectations that they have. And you're right. Every time I see a yellow shirt, and my last England cap was against Brazil, they make you smile because of what they did in the 70s and the 74 World Cup and the gifted players that they've had, obviously coming here in, in 94 and winning the competition with the likes of Neymar. They play with fun. They play with expression. And I think people re relate to that. They're, they're sexy to watch. You they look are. At the stand, you know, I'm calling the game tomorrow, and you'll go into the stand, and everybody is having fun, and they're enjoying the game. They're involved in the game emotionally and physically. You know what they remind me of, Joy? You would know this. They remind me of the dynasty with the Miami Hurricanes. 
it just felt different than college football. It wasn't quite pro football, but it wasn't college football. It's the swag, Colin. It, it was just, and Brazil is such a joy to watch. Now, I want to talk about Mexico. I was shocked they beat Germany. Was that an upset? Are they better than we think? Mexico has a history. They get to the <laughs> World Cup, and they'll win a game or two. Is this Mexico team different? And I think that result will give them that confidence. They've never got to game five. And I think they surprised the Germans with the, the game plan that they had earlier on was to press, put the Germans out of their comfort zone. And I think the Germans come into this tournament very German-like, very organized, disciplined, but a little bit of a, as I said, a little bit of a swagger about, oh, we're Germany. You're not Brazil. You're not Argentina. You're the Germans for a reason. And you're efficient. You're reliable. And it just threw uh, the Germans off with the style of football that the Mexicans did. The, the pressure that was put under. Then they sat back and then said, go and have the ball. Are you good enough to beat us? And I think Mexico will grow into this competition. It was a big, big statement. I mean, it really set the tournament alive because oh, everybody oh, was like... It really did. Mm. Um, Warren Barton joining us. He'll be calling the Brazil-Costa Rica game tomorrow. Played for Team England. Okay. Um, Wayne Rooney. Now it's Kane. They have a star. England, though, to me, has always been... I always, if you just said England. Be careful. Be careful. I know. Saying. If you said England in World Cup, I'd be like, they, sh they always win about a game less than they yeah. should. They just always leave a game early. Is that fair? Why is that? Is it the enormous pressure? Is it the, I mean, I, I'll throw something out. Is the EPL so intense that it wears down players, that they face this incredible English Premier League, and by the time they get qualifying i mean i'm i'm, I'm guessing no no you're you're right on the now hitting the nail on the head there because it is the the premier league is maybe not the most technical league it's the most all. physical it's the most physical and it's relentless you don't get a break at christmas you go from game to game to game domestic and, and the players are fatigued you know i was part of that for for 10 years being involved with the national team and playing in the premier league it does take its toll where teams have a winter break the games are a lot slower maybe in la liga in france in so, la liga there's two or three great teams yeah. and then you get some Really easy wins. English Premier League, you just don't. No, it's like, as I said, it's two middleweights just going toe-to-toe -to -toe for 13, 14 rounds and trying to get a result whether you're the bottom, whether you're the top, whether you're Manchester United or whether you're, you're down at the bottom. So there's no easy games. There's no given games. The, the game is phonetic as well, you know, whether it's the first minute or the last minute. But England, this is a group of young players with Harry Kane involved, the leader and the captain. He's a, a player that scores goals. You know, obviously two set pieces that he did against Tunisia would give the boys some confidence. And they've got Gareth Southgate. I was involved with him with England. He's a good coach. He's a good man young, enthusiastic about the game. And that may get them so far. That may get them out of the group. It may even get them to the quarterfinals. And it's like anything. If you get a team or a group of young players that are on a roll and have confidence, it can be a dangerous team. Warren Barton. See you in the halls all the time. Love having you on. Pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.